You're listening to the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Radio Show, hosted by Joey and Holly Baird. The Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Radio Show is on the air, and it's heard on WNLV 860 AM and W293CX 106.5 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. WWDB 860 AM in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. WAAM 1600 AM and 92.7 FM, Ann Arbor, Michigan. And KMET 1490 AM, Banning, California. Coming up on the program today, we're going to go over several insects that are bad for your garden and how we can identify them and get rid of them. As well as Charles Malky from Ivy Organics is going to stop by. We're going to talk a little bit of tree care, and he's going to have a giveaway for you. Someone will win. And our guest this week, Wendy Keon Spray, will be with us about the Chinese kitchen garden. Plus your garden questions. The hour's jam-packed, so let's get it going right now. Welcome to the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Radio Show. So glad you've taken time out of your day to join us on the program, whether you're listening in Milwaukee, Philadelphia, Southeast Michigan, Bannon, California, or anywhere in between. We are so happy that you have joined us on the program. I am your host, Joy Baird. Beside me is my wife, co-host, best friend, and gardening partner. Holly Baird. The WisconsinVegetableGardener.com is the destination for all things gardening with over 1,400 garden videos, short and long format, and a variety of gardening Programs as well as every program that we have done on this particular radio show and podcast and in studio form. The executive sponsor of the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener radio show is Power Planter. Planting conditions are always favorable with the Power Planter Earth Auger. No matter what the job is, Power Planter has the right size for you. Simply attach to a drill and let the Power Planter do the work for you. Create planting holes fast and efficiently with ease. No matter the soil type, it does the job effortlessly. Increase your root to soil contact. Leave the shovel and the spade in the shed. Hand welded and made in the USA, we offer lifetime warranty on product defects. Find the size that fits your project at powerplanter.com. The, you can get a hold of us in a variety of different ways. They all revolve around the Ivy Organics hotline. Ivy Organic 3-1 Plant Guard naturally protects plants against damaging sunburn. Insects and rodents protects newly installed plants and trees. Shields prude and damaged surfaces for use on your roses. Fruit and nut trees, ornamental trees, and shrubs. This product is non-toxic, environmentally safe, and organic. For more information, visit ivyorganics.com. You can reach us by the ivyorganics.com 301 plant guard email inbox, and that address is twvgshow at gmail.com. Or you can text us on the instant access ivyorganics.com text line, and that's 414-368-9311. You can tweet us using hashtag TWVG. Our Twitter handle is at TWVG Show. Don't forget our text line is at 414-368-9311. I do want to make note that one of our current, well, one of our sponsors, uh, NewNewHealing.com, uh, they have free shipping uh, until July 31st. It's a natural alternative to Neosporin and other uh, petroleum-based Products certified organic and packed in sustainable recycled BPA free tubes. You can get your tube at nunuhealing.com. It's it's a, yeah, it's basically like Neosporin. It's good for cups, cuts, scrapes, burns, um, eczema, chapped lips, chapped skin. Yep. So there you go. Check it out uh, 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 on uh, nunuhealing.com. Also, uh, let's talk about uh, bad bugs or common pests in our garden. Yeah, so common pests in our garden, um, there's a number of them. We're going to go over uh, a handful of them here. The first one is you don't, might not realize this bug is in your garden or doing damage, but it's there. You've probably seen it a bajillion, bajillion, bajillion times. It's called the pill bug. It's also known, you call them roly-polies. That's, no, what you call I, them. that's what I call them, yes. Uh, we grew up calling them potato bugs. Okay. Some people call them... Um, I forget something else, but it's, it's a pill bug. It's a pill it bug, okay. And it, you know it's, it's, a, it's probably a quarter inch long, and when you touch it, it rolls up in a ball. It's yeah, like a very small oh, armadillo. armadillo. Yeah, okay. they call them armadillo bugs, too. So there's there's those, and they're actually part of the crustacean family, so they're more related to, like, shrimp and crawfish and lobsters. Um, but, yeah, so that's what they are. They eat, The w- reason they're harmful is because they eat young seedlings and transplants. They mow them down. They, yeah. That's when you go out and you think a rabbit's ate the, uh, ate the crop, but it's really the pill bug that has severed the stem of the plant and uh, killed it. And they're nocturnal, 
so they do their damage at night, and they also like moist areas. Under cardboard or uh, under mulch, even though mulch is very beneficial to the garden, we put mulch out there, and then insects, uh, pests like the pill bug, affects the or, or affects the plants in which we're but trying to grow. They're like a good bug and a bad bug because so they, the best of both worlds. The best of both worlds, you know, like that ex girlfriend of yours. Um, so she, they they will they eat decaying matter, so they do help break things up. But at the same time, they'll. Um, you know. Yes. Uh, so what can we do to get rid of it? So we can get rid of it by, you can use beer traps just like you would with slugs. Um, so you would take beer, you would put it, bury the, like, if it's like a... The dish or the, the cup. The dish or the cup at, like... Near ground soil level. level. Yep. And then um, then they'll, they'll go in there. You can spray your plants with an essential oil spray. So you can just dilute um, anything from peppermint oil, eucalyptus oil, cinnamon oil, Citrus oil or rosemary oil or oregano oil and tea tree oil. So those more, um, I guess, I don't want to say acidic oils, but they have a stronger scent. So And, and uh, Dharmaceutical, one of the sponsors, yeah, they, they have some that would work in that uh, measure as well. Uh, the next bug, uh, so keep that in mind. The next uh, insect or pest that we want to be aware of is the tomato hornworm. This is a insect or a bug. It's a, it's a worm that you may not have ever seen, but you will n- have seen the effects in which it ha- has had on your tomato plants. Yeah, so the tomato hornworm is a, essentially becomes um, a moth. Moth, or yeah. yeah. Closely, but a pretty, pretty, pretty moth, so it's but like it's a, devastating it's, to, before it gets to that stage. So it's kind of like a, a caterpillar, I guess, in a sense, because it turns into something else. But um, what it does is it'll eat your tomatoes when they're almost ripe or pretty much just ripe and you go out to your garden you're like one day you're gonna i'm gonna pick those tomatoes tomorrow or whatever you go out the next day and it looks like some little kid came around and ate around all of your tomatoes just leaving the core and then there's usually little black droppings on the tomato and so what do we want to do in order to combat this so if you have chickens you can let your chickens loose in your garden for a little while They'll find them and they'll eat them. Um, you can try to view them, look for them, but we can't find them. They hide very well. So there's that. We Otherwise, encourage to bring birds into the garden. Yeah, so we, just like letting your chickens run loose, you could bring birds into the garden. So you take like a tuna can or the bottom of a water bottle, put it on a stake, put some bird seed in there, or if you have a nice pretty bird feed or whatever, and then that way the birds are eating the bird seed. They look around, they have very keen eyesight, and they'll see those tomato hornworms and other bad bugs and eat them and the uh, the benefit of that is uh they are also yeah eating all those bad bugs uh what you could do is spray bt on your plants as well it's, you a, can. Na- it's a natural occurring bacteria in powder or liquid form the disadvantage is every time it rains you have to reapply it yes so uh, for us we found that you want you want to move your crops too you want to move your tomatoes around but we found that the the um the birds bringing the birds in is what really helped us and immensely, and, and then disturbing your soil. Disturbing the soil also is effective as well. And since we've been doing that, uh, it's we've had like one tomato out of like four hundred plants in the last three or four years that's been affected uh, on that. Also, if the birds are pecking holes in your tomatoes, it's not because they're trying to eat your tomatoes; they're looking for moisture. So you'd want to set up some type of watering mechanism for those birds because birds are very, very beneficial in the garden for that. Next one is the squash vine borer. Tax your pumpkin squash uh, melons. It burrows in the moth, burrows in and lays its larvae in the stem. The larvae... It's kind of at the base of the stem. Right, at the base of the stem. Uh, the, the, then the larvae eats the internal portions of the plant to the point where it severs the veins in which the plant is required to uptake the moisture from the soil and give the, the leaves the adequate uh, nutrients. Uh, the leaves look very wilted, like it needs water. You water it, you come out the next day, it's flat on the ground. The uh, main way of preventing this is being proactive, being very vigilant of your plants and looking to see at the base if there is extraction of what is essentially honeydew, but it looks like sawdust that has been coming out of the base. And that's where the burrow has occurred and the insertion of the larva has happened and you can uh, squeeze the base of the plant to find out if it's firm. If it's firm, you're good. 
If it feels like a straw, then you need to do surgery because there are larvae inside of that stem that is beginning to eat the inside of your squash, your pumpkins uh, out. So what you want to do is take and cut about a one inch um, sliver into the stem to open it up to see what's inside of it. As long as you don't sever the stem from the root system, you're fine. And you'll begin to see larvae emerging out of the plant uh, at the base. So you'll be, if, if, if squirmy, this is not the job for you. Uh, so you want to pull that larvae out. There's usually, usually about six to eight larvae in a plant. Uh, and then you let it, op- leave it opened up, that open cavity, uh, for about a day or two and see if anything else has worked its way down. Uh, typically that will save your squash, your pumpkins. That's how we have able to get squash and pumpkins for a number of years. Uh, with any, without any issue because we are vigilant and we uh, survey the plants on a daily basis. Next is Japanese beetles. So Japanese beetles are, people are very familiar with them. They, for a long time, people thought that they looked like ladybugs. They do, they do look kind of like ladybugs, but they're de- there's definitely a distinct difference. They will devastate beans, uh, mm-hmm. roses. And they bite. Sunflowers, yeah. And they bite you. So one thing you can do, and a lot of people are like, you know, they have these traps, but I feel like they're attracting more uh, because they're a pheromone trap. I feel like they're attracting more they're, beetles. They're bringing everybody in the neighborhood, all, all them Japanese beetles, to your yard because they think it's mating over there. They smell that smell. So there's two things in which you can do. One, if you choose to use the pheromone trap, put it the farthest away from the situation that's being affected to draw the insect or the bug away from the problem. Uh, that's number one. Number two, you can use phylum bioproducts, the grub, um, the beetle gone and the grub gone products in order to eradicate or deal with the problem uh, at hand in your yard. So we'll talk about more of that at the bottom of the hour. Uh, But the grub gone is a non-chemical BT uh, product that specializes in targeting uh, the Japanese beetles, uh, uh, weevils and boars. So keep that in mind. It's an organic product that works very, very well. Okay, so then we have the aphids. The good old Fun, horrible tick of the plant yeah, world, the, the aphid. It's the plant world, so it eats the... the it sucks the juice it out. It sucks the juice out of your plants. Um, they are kind of evil because they can reproduce without mating. They mate, They reproduce like every one or two weeks or something. It's ridiculous. They can, they can multiply in a myriad of ways quickly. So what you can do is, one, you can... A healthy plant. You can have a healthy plant, yep. So they, they will... <clears throat> attack the unhealthy plants. The weaker the weaker the plants. A healthy plant, like a healthy human, is less resistant to diseases and colds. Well, I take that back. Less resistant to colds because your immune system is up uh, more. The plant's immune system is up stronger when it's hydrated and not weak because it's lacking in nutrient or moisture or water uh, internally. Right. We'll talk about plants since we're not certified doctors here. We're kind of... <laughs> Kind of know a little bit about the plants. Or or like plant doctors. Well, to a certain level, yeah. Kind of. Um, So, but yeah, you want to keep your plants hydrated, number one. Keep them healthy. Number two, uh, if you do have the infestation of aphids, a couple of ways of getting rid of them. One, if it is on one plant and one plant only, you can extract that plant to one degree here. If you remove that plant, whether it's a weed or a, a, a cabbage or kale, those aphids may find another host plant. So if, that, if you can leave that one plant alone, let them all host on that plant, sacrifice that plant, you're probably going to be okay. You can also use soapy water uh, and spray on that. You can spray neem oil on the plant, which is a natural uh, product. To, uh, it's a soft body insect, so it, that will um, dislodge it and spray it with a hose. You can also use worm castings, which have a beneficial property in them, um, when you water the worm castings in and the plant uptakes the nutrients of the worm castings, that property gets uptaked in the plant's system. And when the aphid is sucking the juice from the plant, that property that which was in the worm castings that is in the plant now gets ingested into the aphid and that begins to dissolve the aphid from the inside out. So it's a natural uh, nature's way of controlling uh, bad bugs in your garden. So that's just some of the um, different insects that you need to be aware of. What you also can be aware of is an organic product such as Dr. Earth that you can feed your plants to keep them healthy. Now that... Yeah. 
uh, Dr. Earth Fertilizer. Oh, Dr. Earth, yep. Dr. Earth is committed to clean and healthy gardening through creating cutting-edge, natural, organic, garden-friendly products. Based on research and innovation, after 28 years, they're the leader in organic lawn and garden industry. They do not use ingredients such as biosolids, composted household waste, or synthetic chemicals. Instead, they have manure-free fertilizers, organic soils, insect control, and liquid fertilizers if you want to grow the best quality food around. Um, that's what the founding principles of Dr. Earth is all about. They have experts to find the most innovative ways to help you grow your best organically. Visit DrEarth.com for more information on where to buy. Don't go anywhere. Uh, Charles Malky, Tree Care, next. Twenty four seven three sixty five. The Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener dot com has all the gardening information you need: videos, digital magazines, replays of shows, and more. Shield and Seal Vacuum Sealers and the highest quality vacuum sealing products, unique black and clear in all black bags, protecting your produce and product better than traditional bags. Find out more at shieldandseal.com. Do you seek safe, effective nutrition solutions to boost your health and quality of life? Standard Process is your trusted whole food supplement manufacturer with 90 years of expertise. Our third generation family owned company proudly grows nutrient rich ingredients at our certified organic farm in Palmyra, Wisconsin, enabling us to produce high quality whole food solutions that change lives. For help identifying the best supplements for you, find a local healthcare professional today at standardprocess.com forward slash patients. Feed your garden all season long with the Hydro Feed Fertilizer Injector by Chapin. Hydro Feed Injector can be filled with water soluble fertilizer and connected to a garden hose or irrigation system, whether drip, sprinkler, or soaker hose. Fertilizer is drawn into the water system at a consistent ratio to feed and water your garden at the same time. Three models are available for gardens of different sizes. Find Hydro Feed at the Home Depot, Ace Hardware, or www.chapinmfg.com. Pomona's Universal Pectin is high-quality pectin that gels reliably with low amounts of any sweetener. If you're trying to reduce the amount of sugar in your diet, you'll love Pomona's Universal Pectin. Now you can make healthy, homemade jams and jellies sweetened to your taste. You can use sugar, honey, or any alternative sweetener you'd like. Pomona's Universal Pectin keeps indefinitely when stored in an airtight container. Easy to use, versatile, and comes with directions and recipes in every box. Find out more and where to buy at PomonaPectin.com. Available at most natural food stores and online. The Norwalk Juicer is the best cold-pressed juicer on the market. Studies have shown the Norwalk Juicer produces 50 to 100% more juice than other juicers. And juice from the Norwalk is higher in minerals and nutritionally superior. Not only do you get more juice from your produce, but also better quality juice. Check it out at norwalkjuicers.com. Use coupon code GARDENTALK to get free continental U.S. shipping on the Model 290 Juicer. Groom your plants for a healthier plant. This garden tip is sponsored by BioSafe. Organic solutions that are effective. They offer an array of eco-friendly products. From plant food to fertilizer to one-of-a-kind herbicides, organic weed killer. Grow stronger, healthier with BioSafe. Visit BioSafe.net to learn more. And save 10% on your next order by using coupon code TWVG at checkout. Throughout the growing season, continually removing the lower leaves of your plants will help reduce fungal diseases. Also reducing the amount of soil that splashes up during watering or rain. Soil contains bad bacteria that can also be detrimental to your plants. Mulching helps too. Drip Garden is a self-watering, self-fertilizing pop-up vertical garden with automatic timer. Easy to use, durable, grow 36 plants in a 4 foot by 4 foot area. DripGarden.com Garden seeds do not have to cost a fortune. Just 99 cents at migardener.com. Now with over 450 varieties of non-GMO, heirloom, and organic flower, vegetable, and herb seeds available year-round. Pay less and get more seeds. Shipping as low as $2.50. That just makes sense. Go to migardener.com for seeds and garden needs, tools, and special blend fertilizers. migardener.com. It's that simple. Family owned and operated. Root Assassin, a garden tool that does all the root functions with its advanced shovel that has serrated edges on both sides. Find out more information at RootAssassinShovel.com. When it comes to bulk landscaping materials, Blue Mills Garden and Landscape Center is where everyone goes. 
Whatever the project, we have the materials you need with over 40 varieties to choose from. Soils, mulches, gravels, decorative stones, fresh cut sod. Blue Mills has these products in stock and ready for easy pickup or fast delivery. So what are you waiting for? Now is the time to get your yard back into shape. Stop in and pick these materials up or call us for delivery today. Nobody does bulk landscaping materials better than Blue Mills Garden and Landscape Center. Blue Mills, 4930 West Loomis Road, 414-282-4220. The Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Radio Show is brought to you by the following. Clyde's Vegetable Planting Chart, Dharmaceutical, Dr. Earth, Flame Engineering, Handy Safety Knife, Hydro Box, Wisconsin Greenhouse Company, MI Gardener, Outpost Natural Food Co-op, Root Maker, Soil Diva, Blue Mills Landscape and Garden Center. Find all sponsors at the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com and thank them for their support. Now back to the Wisconsin Vegetable Garden Radio Show with your hosts, Joey and Holly Baird. Holly, let's go to the IV Organics 31 Plant Garden Hotline and bring on our next guest. Charlie's, Charles Malkey is a biologist, plant expert, and owner of Ivy Organics. They are Transparency. They are the sponsor of the call-in, text, and email hotline where they grow cool plants. And we're going to talk about the Ivy Organics products. We're going to talk about tree care as well as keep your phones very close to your hand because we're going to have a giveaway, and we'll talk more about that in just a moment. Welcome to the program, Charles. Thank you so much, Joey and Holly. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for taking time, and uh, one, offering the giveaway we'll talk about in a moment, but two, uh, sharing some of your information in regards to the products as uh, Ivy Organics has, as well as some tree care tips that we all need to follow. Of course. We, we love helping people. Okay. So, Ivy Organics, a lead, Garden Leading Product YouTube channel, has over 50,000 subscribers and millions of views from garden enthusiasts from around the world. How did you accomplish that? So Ivory Organics currently has a little over 260 educational um, videos. Of the 260 videos, over 200 of them were specifically on our initial gardening product, which is based on the gardening concept known as whitewashing. And I know that the focus here is on tree care, and whitewashing is one of the most overlooked of the plant care gardening concepts that is least understood. Through all the knowledge that I offer, all the gardening centers that I meet with and introduce, you know, and offer product knowledge on the Ivory Organics brand, whitewashing is the least understood. Whitewashing is a gardening concept that was specifically designed for painting tree trunks and lower branches to protect from damaging summer sunburn and winter sun scald. Even under ideal conditions of water and fertilizer and everything else, if your tree trunks and branches, as we're now going into summer with 14 hours of sun, can expose those tree trunks and branches to first, second, and even third degree sunburns, and we have a lot of those examples that you can see on the Ivory Games YouTube channel. We've, um, nearly all the research that's out there currently on the internet suggests doing like a 50% paint with 50% water mixture to create your whitewash formula. However, painting and paint products are designed to last 100 plus years. But if you put on your plants and trees, within one to three years, it's going to slough off and that's going to end up contaminating your soil for a very long period of time. The synthetic paints are not organic and they're banned from use in many organic orchards. And also, putting paint is not porous and that also traps moisture and especially on pruned surfaces can result in mildew and rot. Ivory Organic solves all of these issues. The Ivory Organic brand product 100% 100% organic, which includes the following whitewash products. And the main you know, predominant seller and our company was founded on is the Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Plant Garden. It offers protection from sunburn, insects, and rodents, and it has seven natural garden oils, oils that are naturally insect and rodent repellent um, plants, which include castor, cinnamon, clove, garlic, peppermint, rosemary, and spearmint, and those are infused, those oils entrapped into our patented base formula. And it's also available so your plants don't have to look white and colors white, brown for a more natural and green colors as well. Our white formula is now OMRI certified for organic use. And this other colors will be pending for um, OMRI certification, hopefully in the near future. 
There's also the Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Plant Guard ready-to-use spray where you can actually whitewash the entire plant. And the benefit is it serves as an anti-transparent aids in transplant shock, helps curb weather extremes, including windburn. And the most recent of the whitewash formulas is our oil-free whitewash, which just offers protection from damaging summer sunburn and winter sunscald. And as of spring of 2018, we're proud to introduce our latest of the Ivory Organics brand being the six macros plus fertilizers, which is now the world's most complete organic fertilizer. Well, let's talk about that six macro uh, plus there. Uh, it's an interesting name, and uh, what is it short for? So the six macros is short for the six macronutrients that plants need. All of the fertilizers, if you take a look at them, they always have these three numbers on there. And we love teaching our fertilizers, and it's right there on the front of the label. You'll see the NPK, which stands for, and it comes off the periodic table, N is for nitrogen, P is for phosphorus, and K is for potassium. These are the three macronutrients that a lot of growers are focused on, but if you just Google what are the macronutrients plants need, there's six. And shockingly, almost every single brand of fertilizer that's out there does not have six macronutrients in there. And so there's a drive and need to bring the six macronutrients to the, um, you know, to the market. Ivory Organics 6 Macros Plus has the NPK as well as magnesium, sulfur, and calcium. Magnesium is the heart of the chlorophyll molecule. Sulfur is very important for greening. And calcium is in the cell walls of all the plants, so um, of all the plant cells. So it's, it's important to have all of that. The 6 Macros Plus also includes a lot of the micronutrients, which includes iron, manganese, zinc, copper, and boron, which are derived from glacial rock dust and zeolite powders. So you're getting a lot of those micronutrients, and the smaller bag, 11.8, 11.8 ounce bag, can make over 20 gallons of liquid fertilizer or be incorporated into your compost teas to um, basically give your solutions all of the macro and a lot of the micronutrients in addition to it's got beneficial microbes and microarrays that incorporate into the product. So you have one of the most complete organic fertilizers available on the market. And that is, you can use that in granular or liquid form, the six macro, correct? Correct. It can be applied as a granular around the plant, and then you can dissolve it into water and then, you know, use it as a liquid feed. You can even filter it and then do full your nutritional feeding on your evergreens, and especially like citrus and tropical plants during the winter months to continue feeding your plants during even the off season. Well, before I got, I've got one more question for you, but before we get to the, uh, you got an, you got an, your Ivy Organics is offering a $100 gift package here, a gift box that includes a uh, Ivy Organics 3-in-1 Plant Guard white paint wash uh, in the, it's the OMRI listed certification from, uh, started in April of 2019. You're offering an Ivy Organics 3-in-1 Plant Guard ready to spray and Ivy Organics 6 Macro Plus Super Blend Fertilizer, two 11.8 ounce bags that can make up to 20 gallons of uh, liquid fertilizer, or you can apply it around the granular fertilizer. So how this is going to work is w, you can email us at twvgshow at gmail.com, and there will be the opportunity to give us your contact information. You'll be in a drawing for a giveaway that we will have on the program uh, June 29th uh, we, for that. Uh, so uh, where can we find the Ivy Organics brands, uh, Charles? Well, firstly, I'd like to invite everybody to go to ivorganics.com where you'll get a lot more information and the links to over 260 educational videos using our products and the versatility and the application to pretty much all plants and trees. Um, you can also shop our products in, on Amazon USA. And this month, we are expected to be in Amazon Canada as well as it continues to you know, expand in other marketplaces around the world. Um, Home Depot, Southern United States, um, you should be able to find it as well as on, on homedepot.com. Um, Arbico Organics in Arizona, Burpee in Pennsylvania, D&B Supply in Idaho and Oregon, Sloats Garden Centers in the Bay Area, California, Walter Anderson Nursery, San Diego, Anna Walt Lumber throughout Los Angeles, Laguna Hills Nursery in Orange County, and nearly a hundred other garden centers nationwide. And um, if it's not at your local garden center, please have them reach out and contact us. 
our, inf- our information, phone numbers, and emails can all be found at ivyorganics.com. Or, and thank you, Joey and Holly, for, for, for having us. Absolutely. On the Wisconsin Vegetable Garden Radio Show. Thank you. Thank you all so very much. You're very welcome. You can... Uh Email us at twvgshow at gmail.com with your contact information and say, I want to be entered into the drawing for Ivy Organics. And uh, we will do that drawing on no, yeah, uh, on June 29th. Uh, Charles, we greatly appreciate you taking time to join us on the program and enlighten us about the Ivy Organics products and offering the giveaway that you have uh, given away. It's our pleasure. And thank you. Thank you both again so much for, for your time this morning. Abs- Charles. Absolutely. Well, do Take you... Care. Yes. Uh, now is the time that the weather is starting to warm up, and you'll want to protect your garden from various beetles, weevils, and boars, including Japanese beetles. Uh, what better way to prevent these pests from destroying your garden than by controlling them while, uh, while they are in larva stage? Grub Gone is an easy way to apply a granular product that can be spread on your turf uh, to successfully control grubs and invaders. Uh, de- uh, developed by Phylum Bioproducts from a natural occurring bacteria, GrubGon is a non-chemical BT product that specializing targets those uh, pests. And it's safe to use around your bees and other beneficial insects so it doesn't hurt the, ba- the good bugs. Just destroys the bad bugs. Uh, if you're ready to have those flying beetles gone from around your yard, Beetle Gone is an organic water soluble powder that can be spread directly on your edible plants. To find out more, go to phylumbioproducts.com. That's P H Y L L O M. Do not go anywhere. Uh, when we come back, Wendy Spray will be with us to talk about the Chinese Vegetable Garden, her book that she has. You're listening to the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Radio Show. Got a question? Email the show at twvgshow at gmail.com. Power Planter is a family-owned earth auger manufacturer. The Power Planter earth auger will transform your garden experience. It helps homeowners and professionals complete almost any planting or digging project faster and more efficiently than using a shovel or a spade. Power Planter earth auger creates loose dirt when drilling holes, giving your plants better root-to-soil contact to help reduce plant loss for healthy and more beautiful trees, shrubs, flowers, vegetables, and grass. All of our augers are hand-welded and made in the USA lifetime warranty. Find the size that fits your project at powerplanter.com. Never question your garden soil again. Know what's in your soil with confidence. Professional grade soil test for the home gardener. My Soil Savvy has the easiest soil test on the market. Ship it to them, get your report, emailed with nutrients recommendation, and grow happy, healthy plants. MySoilSavvy.com. Use coupon code TWVG19 and save 10% at checkout. Here at Outpost Natural Foods, it's not just that we're community-owned that sets us apart. It's the fabulous foods we sell. We celebrate Earth Day every day by offering our customers the finest natural and organic food selections in greater Milwaukee. Outpost local farmers and vendors provide our stores with a delicious selection of fresh seasonal produce that you won't want to miss. Outpost stores are located in Milwaukee, Wauwatosa, Bayview, and Mequon. We're a real Milwaukee original where anyone can shop and anyone can join. For the whole scoop about Outpost, we invite you to visit www.outpost.coop. The number one key to healthy, productive plants are the roots. Starting from seed to full-grown plants, RootMaker.com has the answer. From seed starting trays with an innovative design that air prunes the roots, creating a fabulous root system, never again will you have root-bound plants to multiple-gallon grow bag sizes to raise beds. RootMaker.com has your grow needs covered. Visit RootMaker.com. Dharmaceuticals essential oils are high-grade, very pure, and high in quality. They have synergized blends made with the finest raw materials. For more information and to order, visit Dharmaceuticals.com. New, new, new. 
Natural Healing Ointment, USDA Certified Organic. Get your tube at NUNUHealing.com. Your plants are greener when using Hydrobox, revolutionary in plant watering. Hydrobox catches the water from water and delivers it straight to the roots to release when plants need it. You will water three times less often and plants grow faster. Hydrobox is an innovative little gel-filled pouch that goes in the bottom of a pot, container, or grow bag. Multiple sizes based on need. Easy to install and use for indoor and outdoor use. Saves time and money. Lasts up to three years. Look for it at homedepot.com or visit gohydrobox.com. The new way to support your tomatoes, wrap it and snap it, tomatosnaps.com. Spending time scrubbing pesky dirt off your hands after gardening? Use Workman's Friends Superior Skin Cream with added barrier protection, creating a protective layer on your skin surface, allowing for easy cleanup, all while moisturizing and healing your skin. Non-greasy, fragrant-free, and fast-absorbing. Apply first, get to work, wipe clean. This friend has you covered for whatever you're getting into. Visit WorkmansFriendBrand.com. Eco Garden Systems is a revolution revolutionary way to grow food, a fully contained raised platform with a conventional watering system, solar power unit optional. Made from recycled material in the U.S., Eco Garden Systems Raised Garden Bed offers sustainable organic gardening that is environmentally sound, quick and easy to set up, maintain and fun to use. Fill your garden with soil and plant your seeds. Your Eco Garden will take care of the rest. Can set up in backyard, patio, and even your driveway, any level surface. For more information, visit Eco Garden systems.com use coupon code WIVEG2019 and get $295 off listed price of $1,695 plus free shipping a $250 value at EqualGardenSystems.com having winter squash and summer squash and even pumpkins while dealing with the squash vine board This Michigan Garden Moment is brought to you by MIGardener.com. With over 450 varieties of heirloom and organic flowers, vegetables, and herb seeds, all for 99 cents a pack. Find out more at MIGardener.com. The squash vine borer is an insect or a moth that can devastate your winter and summer squash and even attack your pumpkins. Cucumbers and melons are less frequently attacked. The only exception to the winter squash is butternut as the stem is too thick and tough for the moth to burrow in to lay its larva. It's most active in mid-June through July. Home gardeners fight the issue. What occurs is the moth early in the developmental stage of the zucchini plant, for example, burrows in at the base and lays its larva. You come out and the plant looks like it's needing water. You water it and by the next morning the plant is flat on the ground. That larva has already ate the internal portions of the plant which distributes the water from the root up to the leaves. What you need to be aware of is be vigilant of all your squashes early on. Look at the base. Squeeze the base. If the base feels like a straw, you've got larvae in there. If it's firm, you're fine. You can also look for honeydew that's emitting out of the base of the plant. It'll look like a pile of sawdust. You'll want to surgically open up just a small opening inside of the squash plant. Remove the larva, usually six to eight larvae in that plant, and then you'll be fine. You can check it the next day by cutting a little bit more up the plant, but that's the way, the surefire way, that you can have zucchini and winter squash. This Michigan Garden Moment is brought to you by MIGardener.com. With over 450 varieties of heirloom and organic flowers, vegetables, and herb seeds, all for 99 cents a pack. Find out more at MIGardener.com. The Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Radio Show is brought to you by the following. Eco Garden Systems, Rowmaker, Shield and Seal, World's Coolest Rain Gauge, Big Fats Hot Sauce, Chapin International, Drip Garden, Norwalk Juicers, New New Healing Ointment, Phylum Bioproducts, Soil Savvy, Tree Ripe. Find all sponsors at the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener.com and thank them for their support. Do you need a garden center that has the answers to the problems that you have or the questions about your landscape, your garden, what you should do and what you should not do? Blue Mel's Landscape and Garden Center is that place for you, and it's the place in Milwaukee that has the most bulk material with over 40 different items that you can choose from for pickup or delivery. They have everything you need. You can find them at 4930 West Loomis Road. Go to bluemills.com. Or call 414-282-4220. Now back to the Wisconsin.
Nuts and Vegetable Garden Radio Show. With your host, Joey and Holly Baird. Holly, let's go to the IV Organics 31 Plant Garden Hotline and bring in our guest for the week. Wendy King Spray is a passionate gardener, garden speaker, and writer whose articles and contributions have appeared in a number of national publications and books. She is also the author of The Chinese Kitchen Garden. Welcome to the program, Wendy. Hi, thank you guys for having me. Well, thank you for taking time out of your day to join us on the program and enlighten us about some things that we may not be privy to. Thanks. Okay, so um, why don't you tell us more about your book, The Chinese Kitchen Garden. It's definitely a very interesting book. What does the content consist of, and is there something in there you want to share specifically with us and our listeners? Yeah, sure. Um, The Chinese Kitchen Garden is a book that shows gardeners of all experience levels how to grow and then use Chinese vegetables. Um, It's organized by season, and it also hits on all the big topics like watering, mulching, pest control, um, and I worked pretty hard to make it a good general gardening book as well. So great for beginners. Um, I wanted it to be really useful for people who are new or even new-ish to Asian vegetables. I find a lot of gardeners have tried like your bok choy, maybe your gai lan, you know, maybe your edamame. Um, so I, I also put like 20 or so recipes in there so people know how to use those vegetables. Um, a lot of them are my mom's recipes and they're great, but I also believe that Chinese vegetables are not just for Chinese food. So um, in the book I gave a lot of suggestions about how you could use the vegetables in your own dishes as well. Um, it's been interesting because I've had a lot of non-gardeners actually buy the book and say they use it as kind of like a handbook as they're shopping at their Asian supermarkets. Um, it it kind of helps them figure out what all the vegetables are, kind of demystifies it a little bit and how to prepare them. Because um, I, I know it can definitely be confusing. If, you, if you're new, you might not even know what part of the vegetable to use or wh- whether you peel it or not peel it, cook it or not cook it, and that kind of thing. Well, and and what was the inspiration for this book? You mentioned your mother. Uh, was that the was that the key um, to writing the book? Oh well, it's always been kind of um, a goal to document all my mom's recipes because you know she, she's an amazing home cook. But um, but really, I I, it, I started I I wrote the I got the idea to wrote, write the book because um, when I started gardening. Gardening is, like, super hot right now, I think, in my opinion. But when I started gardening, the, I, I knew no one who gardened. I mean, nobody. Um, neighbors, nothing, except for my dad. Um, so one summer, I decided to start a blog. Um, the blog was absolutely perfect because I love um, photography, and I'm also a foodie, and it kind of gave me a platform to you know, share my pictures of my garden that nobody would ever care about in my real life. Um, So, you know, the blogging community is amazing, and I met friends all over the world, and um, especially my my posts about Asian vegetables um, got a a lot of attention, and and eventually someone was like, you should write a book, and I was like, I should write a book. I, I, I felt like I had all this information that people should know, um, and yeah, so it just kind of went from there. Well, that's, that's really great. Now, you found gardening as a way to help you connect with your father. How did that occur, and why are you glad that it did? Yeah, <clears throat> my dad My dad is a little bit difficult. He's, he's, a, he's a really good-hearted man, a really humble and hard-working man, but he's also quiet and kind of stern-ish and he grew up during the onset of communist China Um, you know his childhood was really difficult and I I had growing up here I really had no idea about the landscape of China his life or other circumstances um, except for little stories I heard here and there from from other adults and you know they were they were stories that my sister and I wanted to know more about but they were too painful for him to tell us um, especially the ones about my grandmother who died before we were born. Um, and, and, of course, we were always told, don't ask him about her because he's, it's just, it would just be too hard for him to tell. So, so fast forward to a day, one summer, I think we were doing bamboo. There was, we had like a wheelbarrow full of bamboo. Um, 
that we were, you know, cutting in half and trying to, to um, dig the hearts out of. It was like going to be a two-hour task. And it was quiet, so I, I asked a question like, oh, so what vegetables did you grow in China? Just a pastime. Um, and was surprised to hear him go into a reverie about it. And, and that, not just the vegetable, but little bits and pieces of his life, too. Um, and, and eventually, I think talking about the vegetables gave him like a, a safe vehicle to be able to, to talk a little bit about it. And you know, here and there, he would mention things about my grandmother, too. And, you know, I remember the first time he said anything about his, his mom. I was like, it's so excited, but I had to play it cool. Um, and, you know, there were days when I'd kind of push a little too far and he would shut it down. But I think talking about the vegetables allowed him to share those stories. Um, and it really helped me get a sense of what his life was like. Um, so if your listeners buy the book and they check out the dedication, it will definitely make more sense. The dedication of the book was my absolute favorite part of the whole book. Um, and you know, I did incorporate a lot of these little stories that I learned um, throughout the book um, in the introduction and even the introduction sections to some of the vegetables and chapters. Um, they're definitely my favorite parts of the book and the most meaningful and fun to write, too. Whenever you were talking to your father about the vegetables and he, then he opened up about your grandmother, was there, was there a, a gleam of smile to his face that you un, opened up a, an avenue that, of memories that excited him, that brought happiness or, or remembrance back in, in his world? Um, you know, that's an interesting question. I would say no, because he's, I think, you know, because the, the childhood was so rough and it was just kind of traumatic and, you know, he comes to America and it's sort of a rags to riches story. Um, and my family's, you know, it's, it, it is a rags to riches story. I'll just say that we do, my family does very well. Um, so a lot of times talking about the vegetables is like, why do you want to know that? That's stupid. Or why do you want to know about... He, I remember one day he he was talking about going to the um, essentially a farmer's market to sell things. And I was like, I just wanted to have like a full picture. So I was like, oh, what did you bring your lunch in? And, you know, he said a little. And I was like, what did you wrap the food in? And he was like, that's stupid. Why do you want to know that? You know? <laughs> He's sort of like a very closed man. Um, I, I like to think that maybe he finds it touching or something that I'd want to know the stuff, but yeah, he just has a very different perspective. Interesting. Definitely. So um, thank you for sharing that. What are some Chinese Asian vegetables that can be grown in almost anyone's kitchen, backyard, garden? I know many of us are familiar with like bok choy and pak choy, but um, I know throughout your book you have a number of different ones. Um, there's even a, a root crop. I can't remember what it daikon? is. Daikon? No, it wasn't daikon. It was something else. But what are ones that like people can grow and maybe don't realize are they are fun to grow and, and introduce themselves to something new? Yeah, um, well, some of the some of the root crops, like taro root, for example, would be pretty difficult to grow. I don't I don't think we'd be very successful in my zone here in Maryland. Um, but I did include them because they're interesting, and um, some people in more tropical zones can grow them. And um, we we see those things on menus and other and like Asian supermarkets. So I just wanted you know people to have that awareness. Um, but there are plenty that we can grow. Um, Actually, I'm looking outside at my garden, and I have edamame popping up. I like to grow edamame. You know, edamame are the, the, the big soybeans you steam and just pop in your mouth. I like to just put those wherever I have spare space in the garden. I just plop in a seed, and those are very easy. Um, long beans, I think, are really interesting. They are, you know, they do need something to climb, and they do, they produce these beans that kind of dangle down in pairs. And they can be like 10, I would harvest them at no more than 10 inches, but they can grow even longer. And they're just super cool and fun, especially, um, you know, if you have kids or grandkids, I, I think it's, it's, they look really cool and they're kind of fun to harvest. Um, Luffa gourds, I think, are very interesting. Um, 
you can use them like you use summer squash. Um, it's not too, probably not too late to start now. Those also are, are big, prolific plants, so that also, those they also need something to grow. So, you, you know, you would just harvest them young, like young and small, um, and you could just use them however you would use a summer squash. They're kind of soft on the inside. Um, and then anything you miss, of course, will actually turn into scrubby bath sponges. So that's always a super cool one and pretty easy to grow. Um, I would say there are also some vegetables that are just generally kind of superior and sorry to say that to their western counterparts but they really kind of are superior and i would say you know chinese cucumbers for example use them however you use your own cucumbers but they um, are longer slimmer have fewer seeds people say they're sweeter for me i think they're great pickling cucumbers um Eggplants, or Asian eggplants are great. I think they're beautiful. They can just be steamed upright. They tend to be, um, tend to also have fewer seeds, be less bitter. Um, and, you know, and, and you can find those seeds pretty easily online. Um, and then, of course, if you're, my, my daughter is, um, to just turned 21 and she just moved into a house with a little um, garden plot. So she's like asking me a gazillion questions. Um, she's probably just getting her garden ready. I think it's probably too late to do anything for summer. So she can probably do Asian greens. So if you're just kind of getting started this season, um, Asian greens love the cool weather. So, of course, the ones that you mentioned, Holly, but also tot soy is a favorite. Um, that's like a, a rosette bok choy. Um, gai lan, which is Chinese broccoli. It's, it looks kind of like broccoli rob. That's probably one of our family favorites. Um, and those love, love cool weather, so those would be great to do later. Uh, good selection of vegetables in which to grow in your backyard. Uh, Wendy, tell us a little more where we can find your book and find out more about you. Um, yeah, the book should be you know anywhere you anywhere you buy books. Um, you can find it on Amazon. Request it from your independent bookstore. Um, I I have a if you if anyone needs information wants to reach out please feel free if you if you Google me or my book um, I'm sure you'll be able to find info but I do have a website www.wendykiangspray.com. Um, if anyone's on Facebook, I have a Chinese Kitchen Garden Facebook group, and that's a, a great place where we can interact. Um, so feel free to, to join that and check that out, too. Well, Wendy, we greatly appreciate you taking time out of your day to join us on the program and enlighten Holly, myself, and all of our listeners. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. You guys are great. Well, thank, thank you, you very much. Uh, when we come back, don't go anywhere. We're going to answer your garden questions. You're listening to the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Radio Show. You can always send us an email at twvgshow at gmail.com. Send your questions in now to the IV Organics 3-in-1 Plant Garden Instant Access Text Hotline at 414 368 9311. That number again, text 414 368 9311 and send your garden question in. World's coolest rain gauge.com. Need I say more? Take the pain out of planting with the Pro Plugger 5 in 1 planting tool. Step, twist, pull, and you're ready to plant. Digs perfect size planting holes. Soil gets stored in the tube and empties from the top. Helpful for weeding. ProPlugger.com. Soil Diva is the best kept secret in the gardening world. Soil Diva is an all natural liquid biological soil and plant stimulant product. Check it out at Amazon.com. Search Soil Diva. Do you have a problem with deer or small herbivores eating your vegetation? There is a natural solution that is safe for your pets and family. BobX is the answer. An environmentally friendly solution to protect your plants will not wash off and is guaranteed. BobX deer was independently tested against nine known competitors and rated 93% effective, second only to a physical barrier. BobX can be used on all types of ornamentals, trees, and shrubs. Ask for it by name at your local independent garden center. Find out more? Visit BobX.com. B-O-B-B. 
B-E-E-X dot C-O-M. Big Fats has a variety of unique and delicious hot sauces available at mild, medium, and hot. A small company looking to change the world with all natural hot sauces made from quality ingredients and a whole lot of love. BigFatsHotSauce.com. Beans and Barley Marketing Cafe, a neighborhood specialty grocery store for the east side of the greater Milwaukee area where you can find all you need from fresh produce to bakery to organic frozen dinners, from wine to fresh squeezed carrot juice, a health food store with hundreds of products, vitamin supplements, bath and body items, magazines, cards, books, and a knowledgeable staff. Catering available. Open daily at 8 a.m. The restaurant serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week with a menu of good, healthy, homemade food, including vegetarian and non-vegetarian specialties. 1901 East North Avenue, Milwaukee, 414 and online at beansandbarley.com. Do you want fresh produce delivered right to your neighborhood? Check out Tree Ripe Citrus Company. Find out where to pick up quality produce at tree-ripe.com. They have beautiful, tasty peaches and juicy, sweet blueberries. If you're tired of the non-taste peaches and the bad blueberries from your local grocer, Tree Ripe has what you need. They come right to a stop in your neighborhood, fresh off the truck, right from the source. To find locations and schedules, visit tree-ripe.com. They're in Iowa, Michigan, Minnesota, Illinois, and right here in Wisconsin, tree-ripe.com is your go-to place for the freshest produce around. Flame Engineering, home of the Weed Dragon, the perfect propane torch kit for home and garden use. For killing weeds, no need to pull or spray. 100 other uses, find out more at flameengineering.com. Use coupon code WVG19 to get free shipping. Blue Mel's Garden and Landscape Center offers an awesome selection of high-quality garden and landscape products. We have just the plants you're looking for. Annuals, perennials, veggies, herbs, and more. Plus, you can always count on us to answer all of your questions and offer expert advice. Blue Mills also carries the largest selection of bulk landscape materials in the area. Enjoy a beverage from our coffee shop while your kids run around in our huge playground. Join our growing list of highly satisfied customers. Visit the garden center that offers everything you're looking for. Visit Blue Mills today. Blue Mills, 4930 West Loomis Road, 414-282-4220. The Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Radio Show is brought to you by the following. Ivy Organics, Power Planter, Root Assassin, Beans and Barley, BioSafe, Bob X, Pomona Universal Pectin, Pro Plugger, Standard Process, Tomato Snaps. Find all sponsors at thewisconsinvegetablegardener.com and thank them for their support. Back to the Wisconsin Vegetable Garden Radio Show with your hosts Joey and Holly Baird. I view Organic 3-1 Plant Garden naturally protects plants against damage and sunburn. Insects and rodents protects newly installed plants and trees. Shields prude and damaged surfaces for use on your roses. Fruit and nut trees, ornamental trees, and shrubs. This product is non-toxic, environmentally safe, and organic. For more information, visit ivorganics.com. You can reach us by the ivorganics.com 301 plant guard email inbox, and that address is twvgshow at gmail.com. Or you can text us on the instant access ivorganics.com text line, and that's 414-368-9311. How is the best way to start my raised bed? I have it set up, and I want to get started planting. I have Kentucky pole beans, carrots, cucumbers, peppers, uh, red large tomatoes, and Brussels sprouts. My raised bed is 4 foot by 8 foot. Will all of this fit in there? Well, to a certain degree, yes. Uh, you want to follow the square foot gardening method. 16 carrots per square foot, 1 tomato per square foot, 1 pepper per square foot, and just search the, the square foot gardening method and you can find, you can pack a lot of stuff in a very, very small space. You still do need to have plenty of air circulation, but for 32 square feet, you should have no problem getting quite a bit of pro Produce in that. And that's a method that we practice even in the traditional ground. You don't have to have a raised bed in order to practice the square foot gardening method like many people believe. You can do it straight in a in the ground garden. You can even do it in a large container garden. But you can pack a lot in. Look at the square foot gardening method. You can also get the book, the square foot garden method. Let's go to a strawberry question here. If I have strawberry plants that have daughter plants or the runners which have established roots, can I cut the cord from the daughter plant to the 
the parent plant or does it still have to be attached to the, the mother plant? Thank you. Also, what do you cover your strawberry patches with to protect them in the winter? Now, for those who are not familiar with Juna bearing strawberries, they put uh, runners on or additional plants on. That's how they propagate. So once that daughter plant or that runner, that additional growth, it can have four or five or six different little plants that establish itself on the that runner, that uh, umbilical cord, uh, so to speak. Once those plants have become established and rooted, you can cut the the umbilical cord or the, the connection from the to the mother plant. What some gardeners will do is they'll actually put trays and put the daughter plants in potting soil to get them to root. And once they have established a root system, they'll disconnect them and then they'll transplant them to other locations. We did this. Uh, we just let them go in our uh, bed and they kind of trans uh, work their way across the garden a little bit. Typical garden uh, strawberry patch, five to seven years. We don't cover our bed at all during the winter. We leave it exposed, and they've done very, very well during the life expectancy in which they had, which was five to seven years. So uh, both of those uh, work very well. Sarah would like to know, if you cut the tops off the onions, do you get a larger bulb? Well, that's a very good question. We get this question often. Let's go to standard processes, Ben. He is the farm property supervisor there. See what he has to advise us on this question. Standard Process is your trusted whole food supplement manufacturer for over 90 years. To help identify the best supplements for you, find your local healthcare professional today. Go to standardprocess.com forward slash patient. Hi, this is Ben Bartlett from the Standard Process Organic Farm. Today we've got a question from Sarah about her onions. She wondered, if she cuts the tops off the onions, do you get a larger bulb size? Actually, onions grow in a kind of a funny way. The larger the top, the larger the bulb will be. What that plant is doing is collecting carbohydrates and energy and storing it in the leaves to make the layers of the bulb. So the larger the leaves on the plant, the larger the bulb will be. So topping them won't make as much sense. You shouldn't get a larger bulb. A couple of onion growth tips is that you want to make sure that as those tops are growing, you need to fertilize them every two to three weeks until the leaves quit. And they also need to have adequate water during that time. Again, you want to make the largest leaves, the largest top you can on an onion, and then that onion will use that energy that's stored to transfer into creating a bulb and create the largest bulb that you can. Make sure that soil is loose around the base so you can those bulbs can grow to a big size, and make sure you use the correct day-length onion for your area, and you'll have the best onions that you can have. Before we get into what's coming up next week on the program, Holly, remind them about the executive sponsor. The executive sponsor of the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener radio show is Power Planter. Planting conditions are always favorable with the Power Planter Earth Auger. No matter what the job is, Power Planter has the right size for you. Simply attach to a drill and let the Power Planter do the work for you. Create planting holes fast and efficiently with ease. No matter the soil type, it does the job effortlessly. Increase your root to soil contact. Leave the shovel and spade in the shed. Hand welded and made in the USA, we offer a lifetime warranty on product defects. Find the size that fits your project at powerplanter.com. Do join us next week on the program. Let your friends and garden friends and buddies know that we exist. That's how we grow. That's how we all learn together. We're going to be talking about keeping your tomatoes plants healthy all summer long and how to do that, as well as farmer's markets, what you need to know before you go, as well as our guests. They are the authors of The Urban Homestead. They've been growing in their front and backyard in Los Angeles, California, for over a decade. Eric Cont- Eric Content and Kelly Spoon will be with us, plus your garden questions. Miss any portion of this program or want to revisit it in its entirety, you can do that in a couple of different ways. One, by going to your favorite podcast-providing website and searching the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener radio show. You can also go to the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com, clicking on the radio tab at the top of the page for full length or the highlight tab on the right-hand side for segments of all past shows. Until next week, for Holly Baird, I'm Joy Baird, and we will see you in the garden. 
You have been listening to the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Radio Show. Tell a friend and join Joey and Holly again next week so we can all grow together. The Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Radio Show is a production of the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com in association with WI Garden Media Broadcasting, live from the WNOV 860 AM and the W293CX 106.5 FM, Courier Communications Studios in Milwaukee, Wisconsin.